Paving is the last step in the construction process. It's when you lay down that concrete or asphalt ribbon that's going to be your lasting mark on the landscape. It will serve as a continuing reminder of the work you put in and the tolls you paid in getting the job done. To a lot of people, paving on a new grade is a breeze. There seems to be lots of room, and it's not so busy. But look again. There isn't as much room as you think when you're working close to powerful forces. Paving equipment is powerful, and it's always moving. That means you can get hit by flying debris, or by the equipment itself. Loading and unloading equipment can be scary. Most pavers, rollers, and other heavy equipment are top heavy. They'll overturn real easy on a steep slope. If you're driving a truck, you too might think you have plenty of room. But don't forget, you're coming into pedestrian territory, and you can't see much around you, especially people who are close to you. And between the grade and the haul road, there's not much standing room for a pedestrian. Use a spotter to make sure you're not going to run over anybody. If you're working on the ground, you better know that that driver can't see much. A truck has lots of blind spots. And even if you can see the driver, the driver probably isn't going to be watching out for you. Like I said, this equipment is big. It's not going to stop unless it hits something bigger than itself. If you're a pedestrian, it'll be unforgiving. That's why backup alarms are there. Even if you hear them all the time, don't ever take them for granted. Like most people, you're probably thinking about your job and what you're going to do next. But if you don't know what's going on around you, you can get yourself into real trouble. That's why if you don't have to be around traffic, then stay away from it. The paving operation moves slowly and constantly. You're doing a lot of the same things over and over again, mile after mile. It can get so boring, you think you can do it in your sleep. Wake up! Don't try to save a few steps by cutting under the conveyor belt. Get into the habit of giving it the room it deserves, because it will take it, if you're there or not. Like I said, it's not going to stop unless it hits something bigger, or the operator stops it. But what do you think your chances are of it stopping if the operator can't see you or hear you? Remember, it's noisy out there, and the operator can't see much that's close to the paper. If the constant repetition and boredom can be hazardous, so can the opposite. Rushing to save your work from a thunderstorm can make you do things you'd never think of doing under normal conditions. And just being out in the lightning on top of steel equipment can be scary enough. Keeping your head during a crisis can save you even greater hassles in the long run. Walking in mud isn't so bad. 
What you don't want to walk on is the product you're working with. For example, asphalt is hot, as much as 350 degrees hot. Tennis shoes won't protect you from this kind of heat. Portland cement will burn you too, not because it's hot, but because it's caustic. You might not feel it right away, but if you wear the same clothes the next day, it'll tell you it's there, and you definitely won't like it. Wear clean clothes every day, especially your socks. PC dust can be very painful, so wear a mask and eye protection. Noise is a safety problem, too. Your hearing is like your eyesight. They're both critical to your safety. If you can't hear what's going on around you, you've cut your safety margin in half. And if your vision is obstructed, too, you're really stacking the odds against you. Besides coping with the equipment, the trucks, the noise, and the endless repetition, there's another factor that can distract you from knowing where you are and what you're doing. It's the heat and humidity. It can drop you like a rag doll. Drink lots of water, even if you're not thirsty. Around here, your brain needs to be cool and alert at all times, because the dangers can get even worse. Paving around traffic really complicates things. You still have all the hazards of paving, but now you're in a public area where people are used to driving fast with lots of room to maneuver. When you cut off a lane of interstate, you double the traffic on the open lane. They're going to be cramped for space, and so are you. It's not a healthy situation for anybody. That's why traffic control is so important. You've got to let them know you're there and to keep them from killing themselves. And you. Drivers can enter your work area at the bat of an eye. Don't give them a reason to follow you in. And if you're not careful, you too can get caught crossing the line. It's easy to forget when the line is imaginary. Night. As if you didn't have enough problems with everything else. Now the odds of getting into an accident are really stacked against you. First, visibility is minimized, both yours and the driving public's. Then, the public doesn't expect you to be there in the first place. So for them, you are out of sight and out of mind. That could lead to a disastrous situation. As the night wears on, the solitary vehicle can sometimes be more dangerous than a steady string because this is when drivers can fall asleep. They're tired and there's no other traffic around to keep them alert. So how do you know if that next driver realizes that you're out there? How do you know if he or she is asleep or has been drinking? If you're not awake, you're just a sitting duck. You can survive out there, but you need all the help you can get, including effective traffic control with flaggers far enough ahead who can manage the traffic before it gets to you. Visibility for you, for drivers delivering product, and for the traveling public. And responsibility. Ultimately, your safety is up to you and your ability to know what's going on around you. Since you don't have eyes in the back of your head, every once in a while, take a second to look around. 
Check out what's going on around you and around your co-workers. It's all a matter of reducing the odds of being caught off guard because in the end, that finished pavement will be a constant reminder of the job you did. It could remind you of a job well done, or it could remind you of that friend or coworker who wasn't paying attention.